So guys, I'm about to give you this word real quick. And it's something that I mentioned in a thread today. And it's funny, it was in my spirit yesterday. The word of the Lord is there is no privacy in truth. There is no privacy in truth. Now this message is for a certain demographic of people, okay? Because not everybody is in this situation. I'm not in this situation. Um, but it's something that God has given to me. Some of you are in relationships where there's a lot of indiscretion and illicit things going on. It could be your husband, it could be your wife, it could be someone that you are considering for marriage or you're in a relationship with. And God has shown you some things. Some things have been uncovered in two ways. One is you saw something on a computer, you saw something on the phone, you saw something that came up on your tablet or your computer and or the Lord told you to go and look and you looked and you found out that this person is in fact cheating or the person it's cheating no matter what whether it's verbal or or physical it's cheating and so you found it and so now the thing that has happened is the person is looking at you and saying that um, you were snooping and this is now the main issue that you looked and you saw this and how dare you and my privacy and how could you but the word of the Lord is there is no privacy in truth there is no privacy in truth all things are open to Christ there is nothing that is hidden from him even in the darkest of darkest places it's made light so there's nothing that's hidden from God and therefore nothing will be hidden from you. When you are his child and you are called of him, when you are walking in Jesus Christ, he is going to protect you. And so therefore, before you find out, he speaks to the heart of that man or that woman to stop doing what they're doing. He speaks to that man or that woman that, hey, this is wrong. And so God talks to them first. But if they refuse, he's going to speak to your heart. And sometimes you have found things or you felt it in your spirit. You may call it, uh, what do you call it? Intuition, but that is the discernment of Jesus, okay? It's a gift that has been put in, put in every person, but it is, it is even more clear when you're walking in Christ. It is more manifested when you're walking in Christ. So then that is something you may feel you may have spoken to them about it and they were like no that's not true they talked themselves out of it you walked up to a situation sometimes you saw someone in their vehicle you saw them somewhere with somebody or someone may have told you hey i saw this or that or you yourself walked up and saw something at the job right when you went to get them or just something that did not sit right you asked them you spoke to them you ask for the truth and they would not give you the truth. So the Lord will show it to you. Nothing is hid from Jesus Christ. Nothing is hid from God and nothing will be hid from you. So there are times, my brothers and sisters, when God is going to show you the truth, he will tell you to look. He will tell you to look. He will show you something, especially when you are in a marriage, especially when you are in a relationship that's keeping you from the Lord, he's going to let you see it. Sometimes it just falls on your lap and you will find that you'll find several instances of things happening. How often will God have to show you? How often are you going to come across this email? Sometimes something came and they were able to talk themselves out of it and tell you oh this person sent them to sent it to them they had nothing to do with it then you see them somewhere or you see something that's not right you walk up in the gym and you see him with this him or her with this man or this woman and something inside of you has a check now i'm not talking about just being jealous but you know when some the discerning of the lord kicks in in the situation this is the second time you've seen him with this person or seen 
her with this person or seen this person come up in their thread. This is the second time that this person, every time this person will contact or say something, he or she suddenly has to go somewhere or he or she disappears for a certain period of time. God has shown you all these things and so now he shows you the phone where you see a full-blown conversation between them. You find that there were lies. You find that it's not true. And now the situation boils down to, oh, you looked in my phone, but I'm here to tell you the word of the Lord today is there is no privacy in truth. There is no privacy in what I want you to see. There is no privacy in what I have uncovered to show you. And so when you see these things, when it's brought to your attention, God is saying, it's not for you to go and argue with them. It's not for you to go and fight with them. It is for you to hear from me and follow through with the instructions that I'm telling you to remove you from these relationships. The Lord is saying, don't wait until you are dead. Don't wait until this person has harmed you. Don't wait until this person has given you a lifetime disease that keeps you from doing the things that you're supposed to do in Christ. Don't wait for a jealous lover to come in and to destroy your property and you. Don't wait for attempted murder. Don't wait until they reach a place in them that they can now take things away from you and put you in a bad place financially. Sometimes, my brothers and sisters, when God has shown you things, it's because he sees what is coming. He sees the heart of man. He sees the heart of that person that that man or that woman is messing with. That maybe your spouse is just thinking they're having a good time. Maybe your partner is saying, I'm just having a good time, but I'm really committed to him or her. But that person that they're messing with, don't realize this person is capable of killing and murdering. Because that person has been in a place where they were rejected from childhood, rejected in several relationships used and abused and now you are their last hope for some reason and so if you hurt them and if they don't feel like they're going to get you their thing is to destroy your house to destroy your kids to destroy your property to do a murder suicide there are some people that already in their heads they have that set that if you don't do and you don't come into a relationship with them and if that spouse of yours or that partner of yours don't come Commit to them and don't leave you for them, then it's going to be a murder suicide. So sometimes God has seen that that's coming and He's showing you now over and over, over and over, over and over, over and over and over and over because He's trying to keep you from that. There is no privacy in truth. I am not encouraging anyone to just go snoop, to just go do what they want to do. But I'm here to tell you, when God tells you to look, when the Lord lays it on your heart to check, check. It is no different than when you are laying down in the house and something pops in your head and say, go check the front door. You get up and you go check it and the door is unlocked. That's the spirit of God. So you don't go to sleep and a stranger comes in your house. So it is the same thing. There is no privacy in truth. Obey the Lord. Move when he tells you to move. He is keeping you from imminent danger. He's preserving your soul. Obey the Lord when he speaks. This is the word of the Lord today.